Hello children, this is your maths class and last day we have, we finished practice set 34 and with that this chapter that is profit and loss is done. Now let us do a quick revision. So what all things did you learn? You learned profit and loss, right? And for that you learned cost price and selling price, right? So if cost price is greater than selling price that is cost price the money they spent and the money for which they sell things okay if cost price is greater than if cost price is greater than uh, selling price it will be a loss right selling price if cost price is greater it will be a loss and if selling price is greater it will be a so if cost price is greater this will give you a loss and this that is selling price is greater it will give you a gain then what did you learn that uh, for some transaction cost price doesn't only mean the money for which we bought the things. It will also include what transportation, then labor, uh, porters, charge, tax and all that. That will include in the cost price. Okay, in some cases. And then what did you learn? You learned percentage, profit percent and loss percent. So, profit percent and loss percent is used for what? Profit percent and loss percent to compare, right? Which one is more profitable? Percent loss and percent gain, uh, not gain, profit, right? Gain means profit, okay? So, percentage of profit and percentage of loss you you also learned how to find out we have to assume that a is a percentage of loss then a by 100 will be equal to the loss by the cost price so we compare it with the cost price then we found find out a then that way you'll get the percentage of loss right percentage of profit also same way you have to assume that a is the or b is the profit percentage then you have to find out okay in, and in both the case, you will uh, compare it with the cost price. Okay, cost price. And cost price, in some cases, not just uh, not the just the price for which we buy. It will also include the, if there is some transportation, labor and all that, that will also include in the cost price. Okay, so that those are the things. Then last practice that you learn to frame word problems and then solve it for Profit percent and loss percent, right? So with that, this chapter is done. Okay, so this was the chapter, which one? P uh, loss and profit. And this profit and loss is mainly, that mainly happens in business, means in transaction, in trading. Okay, buying one thing, some uh, people buy something at low cost from some place and then sell it at a higher cost cost in some place and also farmers farmers uh, make uh, when farm they grow some uh, uh, vegetables or fruits then they sell them in the market in all these cases profit and loss comes okay and also some wholesale dealers buy we buy um, in shopkeepers buy things from wholesale dealers and what do they do they sell it for a bigger price in their shops okay those uh, and in those case we we can find the profit or the loss right so with that this chapter is done okay then now we'll learn the next chapter now